Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another review for you. Uh, and today I'm going to be looking at the i7 950. Um, and the reason why I'm looking at the 950 is, uh, as some of you will be aware, basically the 950 has now been repositioned uh, price wise so that it's kind of the replacement for the 930. Essentially, 930 is going to trickle out, there's no more going to be coming out, you know, getting released from Intel, so when the stock's gone, it's gone. The 950 has been uh, repriced, so it's around the sort of 225, 235 pound mark. So it's, you know, it's just basically been moved to take over from the 930. So do you know what I mean? That's all good for us because it was fairly expensive before, and the only difference really is an extra notch on the multiplier. So, and it's running at 3.06 gigahertz. Um, now, uh, I have been asked before, what's the difference between all these processes? And essentially, as far as I'm aware, because they don't ever kind of tell us officially, but yes, it's got an extra bit on the multiplier. This one, the multiplier will go up to 25. It comes with a stock 133 times 23 for the uh, 3.06 gigahertz. But essentially what it is, is they're just speed bin chips. Um, so they, when they're tested, them, tested at the factory, the bet they, depending on how they perform, they end up going in different sections. And as long as they fall in, with, in certain tolerances, then that will become the 930 for argument's sake. And then the better ones will be the 950, and so on and so on. So the fact that we're getting better chips now, down, um, you know, I mean, at the same sort of prices, is, is just good for everyone. Uh, now it's currently running prime at the moment at 4 gigahertz, but this is something I want to uh, talk to you about because basically I did all my tests at stock uh, and lovely lovely and but the thing was is I then started my overclocking and what I normally do is I start doing the overclock and I leave it all at stock volts and then I work you know just as you should overclock work my way up and see how I, well anyway I looked to 4 gigahertz and it's still hadn't it's still stable it's still lovely so I started working backwards and uh, my 950 does 4 gigahertz at less volts than it does at stock, or oh, less than stock volts. Um, 1.2 volts dead. Uh, my ni this 950, my 950A, you want to put it, it does 4 giga. Um, now this, it, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of you out there going, "Oh, my 930 does that," uh, but it was just a big change for me because something I need to explain is not every chip is the same which is why when people ask me for BIOS settings it might not work for you so I don't tell you I'd rather teach you how to see how to get the best out of your chip um, because my 930 needed 1.35 volts for 4 gigahertz and it wouldn't do it on a smidgen less it was just not the best chip basically 950 is a completely different kettle of fish it's a lovely chip uh, yeah, 1.2 volts dead. It'll actually run stock, uh, so the normal 3.06 uh, gigahertz. It'll run that stock at one volt, 1.0 volt dead. It will do that stable, happy as Larry, all day, every day. And this is something else that I've, I try and tell a lot of people on the forums, um, and uh, for any of those that have just twerked and gone forums, yeah, the Overclock 3D forums. Go and have a look. That's where I uh, spend most of my time. That's you know, the website and everything that I work on YouTube is just um, something that we do extra to add into the reviews. YouTube isn't even our main area. This is just me doing it for myself, uh, do you know what I mean? So that I've got something a little bit extra to put in the reviews. Um, and also because uh, for me, it's a lot easier for me to ramble on and talk complete, you know, yeah, you insert your expletive there but for me to just chat away to you guys and it is to sometimes to try and make it sound right when I'm typing um, it's much easier to try and you know as far as I'm concerned have a chat with you about stuff but anyway uh, so yeah once you get past the 4 gigahertz mark the volts go up rapidly 4.2 gigahertz it needed over 1.3 volts. You're looking at about 1.325, 1.375 volts, 4.2. For 4.4, it was right up uh, in the high 1.4s. Now, this is something that I think is 
Now there are going to be a lot of you out there that aren't going to care, you just want 4.4 gigahertz and do you know what I mean, whatever happens, you want to get as much as you possibly can. Um, and I used to be like that as well, but a lot recently, I, I think it's old age, I uh, definitely wouldn't say it's wisdom because I'm definitely lacking in that department, but I've been staying at 4 gigahertz on lower volts because everything doesn't get as hot, you can run everything quietly, uh, Stressing your parts, you know what I mean? Yeah, fair enough, but it just, with all those extra volts and the heat and all that kind of stuff, and there's a lot of you out there that aren't going to be running, for argument's sake, a Noctua like I am, and I've got a Noctua in my main rig as well, you're not going to be as lucky to have those kind of parts. So the fact that these chips are doing these overclocks at much lower volts means it makes things much, you know, easier for you to buy other parts for. Now what I have got in a lot lately, I'm, I'm a sucker for quietness. Um, and although you might not believe that at the moment, because there is a rig just to the side of me, a bench in, and it's not the quietest thing in the world. Most of it is the CD drive and um, the mechanical hard drive that's been in. But anyway, I'll stop veering off. But yeah, I honestly think that um, sticking around the 4 gigahertz mark, because so many Intel processors now hit it at such low volts, I think if you can get yourself a 200 um, bus with a 20 multi, that gives you um, 4 gigahertz. Now the dividers on most boards will then let you have 1600 megahertz or 2000 megahertz RAM. And you can literally switch between the two and choose which ones that you want. Um, so, and then, do you know what I mean? That makes things so easy for all the rest of your system because everything else kind of ties in. Now. Basically, I'm gonna. This is the review for the 950. But I am trying because I've made a couple now to make a video to explain how to go through the settings and how to overclock. Now, the only reason why I've not done it yet is I've not been happy with the videos. Um, but it is something that I'm hoping to bring you soon uh, and do it in you know my style, the way I do things, and the way I do my overclocks as well. But now I've got this 930, it might be a bit easier for me to show you because. Uh, do you know what I mean? Where there's not so many volts needed, and yeah, but we'll, we'll see with that. But anyway, the 950, uh, and um, it, if my chip was anything to go by, do you know what I mean? What I've got now is to go with the rest of them compared to the 930s, then it's an, it would be an amazing upgrade. And to be quite honest with you, I think unless you're really short of money and you can buy a 930 super cheap I honestly think that you should be buying the 950 now if you're building a new system I would question anyone that was gonna oh I'll upgrade from the 930 to the 950 um, because unless you can actually guarantee that you're gonna get one that does it at much lower volts like 4 gigahertz for argument's sake unless you can get one that does it at much lower volts than your current 930 I don't really see the point um, but yeah, for anyone out there that's uh, building a new rig, it would be absolutely perfect because it's a it's an amazing little chip, um, and it performs. Do you know what I mean? It, uh, it, at stock, it will perform better than the 930 because of that little bit of extra frequency. But once you start getting the overclocks matched and stuff like that, you do you know what I mean? They're they're exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? Once you start to push the overclock, and they're running at the same frequencies, there is no difference. Um, but that's not really the point because if you can get at your overclocks at lower volts that means less heat, less power draw, less stress on the components, it's an all round winner. Now, uh, because I am starting to kind of like flip around and like, you know, sort of like go around in circles and stuff like that, um, what I'm going to do now is sign off um, and say yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it's a cracking little processor, it's definitely a worthy successor to the 930 and hopefully I will be back soon with an, um, uh, an overclocking video for you once I get my head around how I'm going to do it because there is actually so much stuff that you've got to take in, trying to cram it into a few videos would be really really difficult. Um, I even tried writing a written guide and it ended up so long with me trying to explain all the things that I do it, second nature now uh, yeah it's quite it was it was difficult for me let's put it that way um, but one more thing I would like to say is and I'm going to look right at the camera now because this is very very important uh, I hit my 5,000 subscriber mark today um, 
and I am absolutely gobsmacked because do you know what I mean the fact that that many people think my videos are worth watching uh, is a proper heart wrencher for me and it really does mean a lot to me as well because at the end of the day all I do is I turn my camera on I chat to the camera and I'll turn it off again do you know what I mean um, and yeah it, it does mean an awful lot to me so thank you very much to every single one of my subscribers but if you're um, happy with the videos and stuff like that then do you know what I mean there's a friendship button on my channel go there on the channel I've also turned all the adverts off so if you want to watch the videos without ads go to my channel um, but also if you're really happy with the videos and you like the content and you like the way I explain stuff then please tell your mates because at the end of the day I mean 5,000 is an amazing number and do you know what I mean I'm, I'm amazingly happy with that but at the end of the day the more subscribers we get the better the kit that I can bring you um, yeah and it just makes my life 10 times easier uh, yeah alright fair enough I do get all the bits uh, for overclock 3D but do you know what I mean? There's a fair amount of work that goes into making these videos and trying to ferry it between all of our reviewers and stuff. But anyway, I'm going off on another tangent. I should just make a video for us to chat. But Intel, i7-950, an absolute corker of a processor. Well, well worthy successor. Um, I'm going to bugger off. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video. Out.